Steve Merrill stopping by to break down the lines in college football for us every week here at the Voice of College Football. And Steve and I always enjoyed this one. It's the daily saga involving the Iowa offense. Of course, one of the worst in college football for going on three or four years. Here we are. It's game number one. The Hawkeyes taking on Illinois State as a 22 and a half point favorite. Join Steve for wagertalk.com is where he you can find his NFL and college football selections on a daily basis. Steve, here we are with the Hawkeyes. A new offensive coordinator, Tim Lester, coming in to fix the Iowa woes on that side of the football. Yeah, but uh, French, what, 26th year at the helm, though. So the head guy is still there, but his son is no longer the OC. And um, I got suckered into the spot last year in week one against Utah State. I thought it was going to be a better offense. Everything I'd read, it said it was going to be a better offense. And laid the 23 and a half, and they only scored 24 in the entire game, a 24 14 non covering win. If I recall, I think I went three and one that Saturday for my clients at wagertalk.com, and that was the only miss. So I'm always very cautious with Iowa. I need to trust but verify. We need to see it to believe it if there's really going to be an offensive improvement. Now, saying an offensive improvement is a, not a big a task to have because this team averaged only 15 points a game last year. So we're asking them to win. By more, a touchdown more than what they averaged last year. And they were in a very similar spot, once again, as I pointed out last season, as a 23.5-point favorite, and they only scored 24 points in a 10-point win. So Illinois State's not a team I handicap on a weekly basis. They're an FCS program. They're usually a playoff-caliber FCS program. Um, so I'd be very cautious with Iowa. And it's asking a lot for them to win by 3.5 touchdowns when the total on this game is only 41. Um, so we'll keep an eye on Iowa going forward. We'll see what to make of this team. But, yeah, I need to see it to believe it, Mark, before we know there's some offense there. Keep in mind, the 15 points last year was bad. The year before that, they averaged only 18 points a game. But they've allowed just 15 and 13 points the last two seasons. So the, the defense really has been lights out, and the under has been pure money makers. Um, this is a tricky game with the big point spread. We'll wait and pick our spots maybe uh, with the Iowa State game next week. And to compound that uh... – figure of 15 and 18 points scored per game their defense was contributing more of that than any yeah. other team in the country <laughs> to those scoring totals yeah they really could have had maybe the best defense in college football the last two years combined when you consider how bad of a situation their offense puts them in on a, on a weekly basis absolutely Catch Steve's work on a daily basis at wagertalk.com. Of course, the NFL is coming soon. Major League Baseball playoffs as well as college football. The under-the-radar selection. Steve's masterpiece here for us at the Voice of College Football. 21-5 and five the last two years. You can catch that as a YouTube member or as a channel member on YouTube and or Patreon right here at the Voice of College Football. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Mark.